All right, everybody, welcome back to this 2001 F350 Harley Davidson edition. In this particular video, I'm going down below to her nether regions and uh, we're gonna pull this drive shaft out for a rebuild because the carrier bearing down here is all flippy floppy and is causing a driveline vibration. So we're pulling the shaft out. I'm gonna replace the carrier, the bellows, and all three of the U-joints. So stay tuned. This is gonna be a really good video. Okay, we're gonna start with drive shaft removal by pulling the straps off of the rear U-joints, pry barring this guy out. We'll move forward. Unclicks. There we go. A little bit crusty. Oh, and by the way, I do have the parking brake set for safety. That way, once I pull this shaft out, this thing can't roll around and cause me injury or death. Because that would be bad. I try to avoid killing myself at work at all costs. It's like a daily goal. Oh, perfect timing. There we go. Loosey goosey. More lubricant. Unclick now. Wow. Oh, come on, you. This is kind of hard to do while laying on a creeper because when I apply force, it wants me to roll around. There. It's a full upper body exercise. <sighs> pry bar. I pry bar everything. Whoa, this guy's heavier than I thought. Take a look at these bearings in here real quick, like. Yeah, these are pretty crusty. Okay, feel good about making the call to replace them. They're not binding, but they've got, I think, 200,000 on them. Ah, rust in my face. Good thing I had safety squints. Ah, let's go up front and get this front yoke off next. See if this guy has got the cojones to take this off. Ooh, lubricant. Nope. Uh, that's in a negative. No worries. I can simply escalate the situation. There we go. myself reverse click there we go here we break them loose and then I can power them off these guys are on here too unclick now come on you Oh, this is a mighty big shaft. It's gonna take two hands to handle this one. There, I'll penetrate it with some more lubricant first. All around the rim. Yeah, 
There we go. I left that last bolt in so I didn't knock this thing loose and then have it fall down and, uh, and crush myself. That would also be bad. Sweet. All right, let's pull the carrier out. And then uh, this unit is free. Now these bolts are kind of crusty up here. I hope they survive the extraction process. Okay, this is the last bolt holding this shaft up. So I need to make sure I take the weight. And it's a lot of it. It's quite girthy. There it comes. I think uh, what I would like to do first is separate the two shafts, that way they're easier to work with. And I will start by pulling this U-joint out. It's awfully crusty. This is gonna go well or it's gonna be hard. All right, that broke clean off. Looks like it's not going very well. And that one broke off, okay. not what I wanted to happen. We need lubricant. I didn't even get the courtesy of a bend. It just snapped right off. That's fantastic. Let's try the next one. Yep, broke right off. Oh, this is getting good now. Come out of there, you. Well, it started. Mini pry bar. Yeah, I'll just get behind it with this little pry driver here and walk it out as best I can. If it comes out, I'm okay. If it breaks, I'm kind of going to be a little screwed. I can deal with one side breaking off, but if two sides break, we're going to have a bad time. More lubricant. Rust jacked in there. But, oh, it broke. Okay. Kind of screwed. Not really. Oh no. I think this is going to become a sacrificial screwdriver.
Yep, it moved again. Good. Yeah, here we go. I win. <laughs> That's great. I won 90% of the way. There's still a wee bit more in there. It'll come out. Got it. Sweet. All right, one down, 11 to go. Tell you what, in the interest of time, I'm gonna pull the rest of these out in high speed, super fast motion. And I'll put on some uh, some Beethoven or something while you guys watch. How's that sound? stuck in here and broke off I can't even get that one to budge so that's just gonna come out last and once I get the, uh, the u-joint out I'll be able to get behind it and, and work it out or break it out or torch it out or you know, I'll figure something out later too many outs all right let's get to uh, pressing this u-joint out okay this is gonna happen by way of the ball joint press I will set this press up on the flanges and then use the threaded shaft to uh, run the U-joint through the flange until one of the cups comes out and then I'll flip the press and then run it the other way until that cup comes out. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, this thing is barely large enough. saturated both shafts with uh, all the lubricant that I believe is necessary. Sure. Let's give it a go, see what happens. It's backing. Ooh, some pieces just flew out. Oh, send it. Okay, let's see what we got. I think that was one of the cups breaking. Yep. Bust clean right in half. All right, let's uh, let's go the other way. Now I gotta knock the rest of the cup out too. Angry pliers with the assist. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I think I'm just gonna try to push this cap through uh, with the assault hammer. Uh, we'll see if that does the trick. Yes. It's free. Okay, now they're split. Okay, I don't want to clean these pores up just a wee little bit. So I'll hit them with a flap wheel. <clears throat> Not too aggressive, I just want to knock the rust out. Mostly on the edges. There, nice and shiny.
Plus this will deburr the surfaces in case I caused any gouges or scratches with my tappy tappy action. Beautiful. Okay, let's flip her over. Gotta work on the other side. Again, we're gonna go into high speed fast motion for these clips and uh, I'll slow it back down when I start to run the press. All right, got it. That's all four, those are out. Let's uh, re-lubricate and uh, press this two joint out next. Hopefully this one will go without, uh, without a fuss. And we're gonna find out. The alignment here is critical because these U-joint cups are almost the exact same inner diameter as, uh, or outer diameter, as the inner diameter of this uh, ball joint press. So they gotta be lined up perfectly. I actually think that's how I broke the first one. So I had a misalignment issue going on. That's not proper grammar. Misalignment issue? I think I should have just said alignment issue. Yeah. Oop. And now we are misaligned. Send it. Danger. Drive shaft gravity. Come out of there, you. Why? Okay. We'll tighten these down and make them more angrier. Come out. 
Yeah, I just had to ask it nicely. All right, let's go back the other way. Press the other side out. Lube. Oh, I heard it crunch. I broke it. I need the cup to stay and the U-joint to come out. That's not uh, not exactly working out for me. I bet these stupid seals are what's kind of holding me up. Let's get rid of these. Oh, almost. So close. Got it, kinda. Good. Next. Curious. Negative. It was worth a shot. in there like a lot there it goes uh oh my battery's dead new battery that one said I'm fresh out of amp hours oh yeah and broke the cap.
gravity. Uh, that was not supposed to do that. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Let's get this thing out of the way. You lose. See the roller bearings got it wedged in. How do I get you out? Destroy. Ooh, that's in there. I think I screwed up. Just a little bit. without the uh, insert. Whatever. Run out of options. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, got my tool back. Okay, now right here I left a couple little nasty burrs on that. So I'm gonna go in with a little carbide cutter and uh, polish those burrs off and then finish it off with a flap wheel. Yeah, these things happen. Beautiful. Good. Oh, that's that's excellent. Oh, I like it. Nice and shiny. Sweet. Okay, now that I've got one of these fully disassembled, I'm gonna go ahead and install that uh, new U-joint, flip it over, I'll change the carrier, and then move on to the other two U-joints. Um, I think since this is taking an exorbitant amount of time, is I'm gonna do the rest of these in, uh, in high speed, with some excellent background music, by the way. That way we can usher ourselves through this and I don't have to make this video like two and a half hours long. So that's the plan. We all know how my plans work out, so uh, let's see how this goes. Gonna pull two of these caps off. Get the U-joint in position. Now, holding this U-joint up to protect the bearings from falling out of this cap. I'm gonna drive this in somewhat gently with a hammer just to seat it so it can't fall out. Oh, 
Oh good, it's going in all the way. I like that. And rotate. We'll do the same with this other side. I'm not going to hit this with the mallet until I feel that the shaft on the U-joint has engaged the needle bearings because we do not want the bearings to fall out. Beautiful. Okay, let's get the clips in. Like so. I think I need to drive that one down a little bit deeper. Uh, we'll see. If it goes in, we're good. If it doesn't, I'll give it some more tappy taps. Another one came off too. Good. Uh, another do 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 do. Get in there, please. I fought with you enough on the way out. I don't want to fight anymore. It's not fully seated yet. Okay, that went a little too far, but no worries. Just drive it back like so. Good.
Okay, that's one successful install. Let's see, we're free not binding and free not binding. One down, two to go. Flip the shaft. Ooh, what you got there? Parts. Nice. Thank you, sir. Set it right there. That's perfect. Yeah, that's one heck of a heck of a tie rod, isn't it? Always, yeah. I knew what I was getting myself into. Okay, let's pull this carrier out of here. Goodbye, crimp connector. Come out. Devil clamp. Oh, oh that's kind of stuck. This is two pieces here and they're splined. I wonder if they're, if they have a master spline or if I should mark them. Let's check that before I pull it all the way out. Is there a master spline on this shaft? No, there is not a master spline. All right. Then this is definitely getting marked. All right, let's see. Right on the top, right there. And right here. And just for fun. I'll mark these splines too. Was silly look there is a master spline I didn't see it oh well I've done my due diligence anyway get rid of that and now I need to drive this uh, carrier off of here a salt hammer okay more loud noises Set me. I'll just destroy it. It will come off. Okay, escalation. So the one thing to do now, we're gonna put it in the press, the big press. Okay, and we're just gonna press the drive shaft right off of this bearing. If that doesn't work, I'll torch it. Okay, let's do this. Come on, drive shaft. Let's get this thing in place.
There we go. Good. And to begin hydraulic pressing action now. Making sure it's centered. It's not. It's crushing that little dust collar right down there at the bottom. There we go. She's moving. Taking get the pressure on that. It's a couple tons. Nice freedom. It is okay. Let's go put this back together. Let's get all the old nasty lubricant out of here. That's good. Okay. I'm also going to change this heat shield or up oh, heat shield, boo, dust shield. So let's get that off too. Salt hammer? No. Turn it down a salt hammer? Yes. You go to your home too. Hmm. You got the wrong parts. No. Uh oh. Oh, now, now what are you gonna do? Okay. Let's see if I can encourage this thing to go on. Um, when I drive this, I can't hit this area here. I've got to get inside and actually drive the race of the bearing. Which makes this a little difficult. There's probably a big press tool that slips over this that uh, allows me to do this, but uh, I don't have that, so I'm roughing it. Chisel gravity. Yeah, it's going. Good. I think it's going. I hope it's going. Yeah. Sort of. I might have to put this in the press too. Find some kind of collar that slips around that to, that'll engage the bearing. And then use the press and the bearing plate 
to finish it off and send it. Yeah, it is moving, okay. Maybe I need some more aggressive impacts. Let's uh, get in position here. Hey, Pita, can I borrow you for a minute? Oh, uh, oh, you know what? Never mind. I'm all out of space. Yeah, never mind. I gotta think of something else. Sorry. Thanks. All right, so it's kind of gone as far as it's gonna go. I've, I'm all out of space here. See how we're uh, reaching the taper of the actual shaft. So I'm gonna see. I can't use the old bearing. That's a dumb idea, that's not gonna work. I need something to contact this race that I can drive to uh, finish pushing that race in into its position. I gotta find something. Be right back. Okay, figured it out. I took the old carrier, stuck it in the press, and exploded it in order to recover the race. Now I can proceed. Let's see, what am I gonna use? Maybe just the chisel again, that worked out. No need to change a good thing. A little bit more. Let's just keep this party going. Okay, this thing's stable enough now where I can give it some extra duck a ducks Let's finish it off. I think it's bottomed out. Cool. I win. Okay, next on my hit list, this other little shield right here. We need a more even distribution of pressure. So, I'll drive it on with this uh, bearing press slash puller. It's a press now. Next up, I need to grease these splines after they get cleaned. Install the bellows boot and the slip yoke. And then I need to move on and uh, get the rest of those U-joints done. That being said, since the remainder of this video is going to be done in high speed, I will thank you right now for watching this video. And let you know that I certainly do appreciate it. As always, I would only ask of you that you communicate to me that you like this video by tapping tap that like button down below. Leave me a comment or two while you're down there if you feel so inclined. And I also have to remind you guys to not forget to have yourselves a whole bunch of great days. So, that being said, have a great day everybody. See you later. By the way, installation of the drive shaft and the steering linkage is gonna take place on the next video. See you there. Actually, don't go yet. I lied. I'm gonna do this uh, bellows boot and the master spline clamp on job in real time. Uh, and then I'll move into super high speed lightning fast motion. If I can get this boot on, what do I gotta press this on too? 
Get on there. Go to your home. You. I will put this in the press. I swear I'll do it. That'd be some stuff to see, wouldn't it? And the clamp's not clamped, so that's not my problem. I can't take it off. Doo -doo -doo. If I take it off, I won't be able to get it back on. Oh, it's gonna go. It just needs the proper application of force. And some wiggling. Go on. It's like it's through. Oh. Like I said, proper application force. Okay, let's clamp the one clamp. Oh no, it's not gonna fit. Oh no. Only got one shot at this. So I better not screw it up. Did you hear that clamp? Almost. Who goes there? Kevin. I don't know a Kevin. Kevin from the block. Well, they they'll only know if you tell them. Kevin from the block. I'm still, I'm still blank from the block. I used to have a little, now I have a lot. People don't know where I came from. Damn, because mm. you old school. What do you say? Bro. Okay, last phase, and I, I really am going to do this in high speed motion, so let me stick this guy on. And we're good. Oh, there's too much lube, it won't go. There. Got it. And the splines are in line and it is indexed properly. By the way, I am aware that this is not the proper crimp tool for uh, these types of clamps. Um, I don't own that yet, but I, I plan on it. There, that's crimped. Good to go. One shaft is done. High speed. See you guys later.